What's up guys, Alex here and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at the budget trinity for Sony Prime lenses. Let's get right into it. <music> Welcome back guys. Today we are looking at the Sony Trinity of budget prime lenses. And I use the word budget, but I don't mean cheap. They are not cheap. They are expensive, but compared to some of the other things that are similar to them, they are way more affordable. So let's dive right into it. The way that I want this video to work is I'm going to talk briefly about a lens, then switch over to that lens so you can see it and kind of get an idea for how it focuses, what it looks like for video and all that other good stuff. So starting things off, I wanted to get three lenses that I feel could do a great variety of focal lengths be super sharp, have great low light performance. So that means it needed a low aperture and also not break the bank. So the three lenses that I picked were the Sony 28 millimeter F2, the 50 millimeter 1.8 and the Sony 85 millimeter F 1.8. Now the total price for all three of these lenses is just under $1,300. If you buy them brand new, on Amazon today. Now I realize that that is more than the cost of getting something like the 28 to 75 Tamron F 2.8, which is what I'm shooting on right now, but they have some unique advantages being prime lenses. And I think they still are an incredible value. And I want to share why I think these are must haves if you're looking for some good primes. So starting things off, we're going to look at one of my favorites. This is the Sony 28 millimeter F 2 Let's switch over to it right now. So this is the Sony 28 millimeter F2. This is one of my favorite lenses from that Trinity set. And here is why it is great for video. It has a super silent motor. I used it with a shotgun mic on top of the camera. It was wide enough that I could hold it out when I went on my vacation with my wife. It was perfectly sharp. It was super stable and it wasn't too wide that I had any kind of warping and it wasn't too close that I was missing a lot of the things in the frame. So for a vlogging camera, it's great. It's also been used for indoor photography shoots where I needed to have something a little bit wider, but I didn't want to sacrifice any kind of sharpness. It's super quick autofocus and I have absolutely loved it. And at the price of just under 450, this thing is incredible for those of you guys who are looking for a great budget photo and video prime. So in summary, this thing is great at photos. It's great at videos. It's awesome if you want to use it for handheld steady cam shots or gimbal work. It has a super silent focusing motor. It's been really reliable for all the work I've used it on. And at an F2, I haven't felt like I've been lacking any kind of background blur. And at 450, this thing is a super good deal. And for those of you interested in a wide lens, this might be the perfect place to start. All right, so now let's switch over to the Sony 50 millimeter 1.8. So this is the Sony 50 millimeter F 1.8. Now the camera tripod is stay the same. The body's in the same location. So you're getting a little bit of an idea for how much further zoomed in 50 millimeters is versus 28 millimeters. Now this lens is easily the cheapest here at $248 new on Amazon right now, but it also has a couple of drawbacks. So first let's talk about the things that I think aren't great about it. It has a really loud focusing motor. And to give you a little bit of an idea of what that sounds like, I'm actually going to take the mic, sorry, in advance and put it up so you can hear what it sounds like right now. So as you can hear, there is definitely some hunting noise, but if you're not shooting in continuous autofocus, you have a shotgun mic placed slightly off camera like I do, or using a lav mic like this, it's not going to be a problem. At 50 millimeters, you're not too zoomed in, but you're also not too wide either. It's great for most locations and most things you're going to shoot. For photo work, I haven't sat there and felt like it wasn't able to get focused and it still shot some great, super sharp photos and I haven't been disappointed with that. So for many of you guys, this might be your perfect starting lens and the right lens for you. All right. Now, last but not least, I'm going to show you what the Sony 85 millimeter F 1.8 looks like. Let's get right to it. All right. Welcome back. This is the Sony 85 millimeter F 1.8, and this is easily one of my favorite 
prime lenses and lenses I've ever shot with. So even though it's the most expensive lens on this group, it has also got a couple of extra little features. First of all, it does have a slider on the side of the lens so that you can switch from autofocus to manual focus and vice versa. And it also has a programmable button that you can set to nearly anything. Since I mostly use this for portrait and photo work, I've set that to be my eye autofocus button and it is awesome to be able to have something you can set to whatever you want. So again, I love this lens. It is incredible and I have used it constantly. It's almost always with me no matter where I go and with the exception of being able to use it for a lot of indoor work, it is absolutely the best bang for your buck lens at this price point for Sony systems and it's a must have if you do portrait work or any kind of headshots. This thing is an absolute beast and it really can't be beat for the price. Welcome back guys. So that is a short look at some of these incredible lenses. Like I said, for a lot of people, these things are going to be a lot less expensive and be able to get very similar results. So if you're in the market and you want a prime lens, absolutely look at these guys. They have their pros and their cons, but overall I'd say for the money, these are some of the best lenses that you can get for the Sony system right now. Well guys, that just about wraps up this video. What do you think? Are these the best budget prime lenses out there for those of you Sony full frame users? If so, let me know. And if you disagree, feel free to tell me why in the comments below. I love talking with you guys. Also, if you wanna follow me, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at A-C-D-E-B-A-C-A. -A -A. Subscribe and like this video for more just like it. And I will leave links for all of these items in the description below. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.